Benjamin Hall is live in Kyiv, Ukraine, with the latest. Benjamin. Yeah, hi, Jesse. Well, look, as you've just laid out, uh, this war is escalating, and it's, it's heating up as well. The north, the south, the east, the Russian forces are taking more territory. They've surrounded the city of Mariupol. They're moving on the city of Odessa. Kharkiv is being bombed to the ground, uh, and as you say, Kyiv is being approached ever more gradually by uh, the Russians. You know, what we have seen in this conflict, uh, though, is the sheer number of videos that come out. We're able to track this conflict almost as it happens, and there are some incredible videos uh, released almost daily on social media uh, and elsewhere. Take a look at this one, for example. Just one example of how Putin's atrocities are being documented and firsthand. And there are countless other stories to go with that as well. Uh, another school was hit today in the city of Zotomir, half of it left destroyed. 22 civilians killed in another bombing in Chernihiv. While south of Kyiv today, at least a few children were killed in various strikes, some killed in their homes, some killed in their cars. And all the while, Russia is tightening the noose on the capital. The Russian Defense Ministry releasing this video overnight that shows tanks and armored vehicles now crossing into the Kyiv region region, and there have been intense air campaigns just outside Kyiv. Speaking remotely today to rallies, uh, to gather, people gathering in European countries, uh, Zelensky urged supporters to keep speaking out, and he held a minute of silence for those who had died. Don't be silent. Come to the streets. Support Ukraine. Support our freedom, because this is a victory not only over the Russian military. It's a victory of light over darkness. This is the victory of good over evil. And I can tell you tonight in Kyiv, we've certainly seen more action than we have for the last couple of nights. Uh, the thud of artillery uh, flashes on the horizon, uh, a short gun battle early on. The sense is that uh, Russian forces are moving towards this city, uh, and it's only a matter of time until they start bombing it uh, more heavily or they move in. I can tell you that the streets right now, they are empty. People are prepping, people are ready, the defences are up. Uh, the Russians have made it very clear that if they f encounter resistance, they will crush it. Well, they will encounter resistance. The people here are brave, they're motivated, uh, and, and so we will see that escalation, no doubt, in the coming days uh, or, or weeks, perhaps. Thanks, Justin. Benjamin. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.